So uh, as you can probably see, we're here at uh, Ballon Robe. Um, this is our two day May meeting. Uh, the lead into this meeting, I was here the pr previous Thursday and uh, again, we got together um, on how best to prepare for these two days. And so there was obviously a little bit of irrigation, difficult, uh, it was a difficult for forecast to work with. Uh, some rain forecast, high winds blowing, um, but I think uh, the lads have done a good job and uh, uh, irrigation has worked successfully. So this is on day two. So uh, for example, day two, we met up at 7 a.m. Uh, there was some watering overnight. And so we had another walk around. We made a few rail alterations and we, we moved uh, hurl positions just uh, from, from day one to provide the best ground again. And uh, so that was our morning. Uh, I nipped across to Galway just to see how things are going in advance of the festival there. Back here for midday and uh, uh, the lads had completed a little bit of filling and a little bit of rail movement and uh, which left us uh, here just before close of card, which is an hour and a half before race time. Um, slowly but surely the personnel are, 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 are uh, arriving, as in the doctors and vets. So we're just checking that everybody's in place in advance of racing. Um, so we're all set for a good day. White flag raised, they're off. And we're off. As they head on to the first of 14 flights, a long way to go here in this www.mikhail.net handicap over three miles and one and as they jump the first flight the leader and lost at the back of the field unseated rider any way you look at it was Kyle, do you want to keep going rider Kyle? robbie power is yet to, to rise I keep going. the second flight and the leader dubai ash Okay, then. High and but a beat is on the inside of Ocean Glendor. Blue cross. Leave loads of time. Uh, you stuck with me? Take it out. Dubai Ash. I think we'll bypass Rob, yeah? yeah. Oh, He's in trouble later. Take it out, yeah, take it out. High, Ocean Glendor. But a beat next. Yeah, you can close the wing across, yeah? Yes, sir, I hear you. Side of Wolf of all streets as they jump. Did, did you get me there? Did you get that message? I'll come back to you when this race is over, Ray, okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I tell you what, I tell you what. If you could, I'd bring the wing up. Yeah, you could I'd bring the wing up around Robbie Power, yeah? Can you, 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 you be able to... ...number four, which is inside their final two and a half miles. It'll be the last flight after two more circuits. And it's Dubai One sec now. Leader, followed by okay. Emer and Oscar High. And Burrowby tracks on the inside, horse with the nose band, alongside his ocean Glandor. And then Tungsten Kid and got away and fights. That's a good angle there, yeah. And, and you you swing that way. Grand job. Focus well and watching brief. That'll do, that'll do. That's and good there, yeah. The back marker with two circuits to go. Captain Dorn. <laughs> Dubai Ash the leader. With a reduced advantage over Oscar High and Emer as they jump this flight past the stands. And this is the fifth. Is everything else okay there, Carl? Still a loose horse with him, is there? He's on the chase track, so just be careful. This flight okay. is being omitted for the remainder of the race as Robbie Power has been attended to. So they go along the side and completing their first circuit. Thank you in the www.mackail.net handicap hurdle. A good run before they reach the next flight, which will be the sixth, the first of two in the back straight, as they are waved around this bypass hurdle. Dubai Ash, the inside is company now, as Feisty Madam has improved right through the field to go up and dispute it in the Wolf of all straights as they come to the top of the track. And the final oh, flight is Oscar guys. High in front. Thompson Kid second, then Ema at the it's final happened. flight over is Oscar High, a few lengths in front of Tungsten Kid, and then Ema Dubai Ash and Ocean Glandor enter the straight. Four, With a furlong to go, eight, it's eight, Oscar eight, High eight, eight, out forward in front of Tungsten Kid, then Ema who's still there. on the outside. Ocean Glandor is next. But racing deep in the now. closing stages, it's going to be a quick return visit right. to the number one for Norman Lee as Oscar High outstays Ema. And I think the rest of them are safely home, Carl, are they? Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you. Summer jumping. What's not to like about it? Carl, just double checking we're good to go with this bumper track, Carl, are we? Yeah, we're uh, all clear. Our, all inside wings are left in place. That's great, thank you very much. So the role of a IHRB clack of the course is twofold in many ways. Uh, on one hand, it's uh, one of an inspector. So we do a pre-race inspection. It normally takes place two days in advance of a race meeting. And then on the day of, uh, of racing, uh, we're essentially, um, we're setting a track out uh, according to the rules of racing and uh, according to the IHRB rules. And we're also liaising with our doctors our other Malta crew, our veterinary surgeons, and our horse ambulance uh, employee as well, and to ensure that if something happens that it's dealt with uh, correctly. I suppose in many ways, for as a clack of the course, and I think I speak for all the lads that and lasses, that a, a good day for us is when everybody, horse and rider, come home safely. That's our main objective, and uh, that's what we try and set out to achieve with the track management. Um, I suppose it's a, it's not just a one day, we, we, took, we look upon it as a, a beginning and end of year. So we, we get together with our respective foremen and track manager, and we have a yearly plan about where we're gonna be at different stages of the year, uh, dealing with whatever the weather throws at us. You know, so um, although it's been particularly dry of late, but uh, on one hand, you'd be, you'd be hoping the rain stays away, and then uh, you could be, uh, doing some irrigation so it's all weather dependent but the fundamentally uh, we try to pro provide the best racing line and uh, hopefully as I said earlier horse and rider get home safe.